This is Jap Man. David Balance. Hi, I'm Josh Grimsley. Hi, my name is Jeff Cooper Schmidt. I'm Gidget, not Ginger. I'm Steve Edwards. Wendy Edwards. Eric Edwards. Well, my name is Jess, and this is Nate. I'm one of the OGs. I've known Brian for 23 years now. Brian calls me the Denver Fiend Father. Fell in love with Brian Polito, Lady Death, Evil Ernie in like 1992. Uh, it was probably about 12. Started in 1994 with a comic book magazine that advertised Lady Death the Reckoning number one. Just got a copy of Lady Death one day and was like, this book is awesome. But I can remember the day I bought my first Lady Death comic book and which book it was. It was December 27th, 1995. I found out the day before I was gonna be a father. I ran to a comic store about 55 minutes away to pick up the book. Red Lady Death Reckoning number one, and was hooked ever since. Back in the 90s, I remember we were in an Atomic Comics in Mesa, I believe, and saw our first Lady Death comic, and it's been history since then. We haven't stopped. My role in the Cyber Fiends was I was the president and director. Then met up with the online Cyber Fiends and met Brian in 97, 90, yeah, 97 at the ChillerCon, and this is history. Over the years, Troy and Brian have developed a really great relationship and we've all become really good friends. So these are my people, these are my fiends, this is my family. We are from Montrose, Colorado and we traveled out here for the Fiend Fest and we're very happy to be here. This weekend is the Lady Death 25th anniversary Fiend Fest. First one in 18 years, a gathering of fiends across the globe are coming to Mesa, Arizona to celebrate Brian Plato and Lady Death. It's just been a fantastic event. I think this, the fact that everybody here is like family and so friendly and you know everybody has the the same interests and uh, we, we really uh, just uh, feel at home with the with the the fellow fiends here. This is this is my family around us today. I think the party last night was really cool. I think that's a really unique idea to bring everyone together so it doesn't feel as awkward. Everybody has been an incredible human being. My favorite part is watching the artists do their work. It's always been a family. The group of artists that Brian has do these covers are some of the most talented people I've ever seen. New Coffin Comics is great. The stories are interesting. The art, every issue, you're getting better and better. You're getting unbelievable covers. It's a lot of fun to read. They keep surprising us with different stuff that just ends up in there, so I don't even know what to expect at this point. They've done an incredible job. They've hired phenomenal talent. They're, they're like family too, they take good care of us, so I think that's my favorite part about the whole thing. I love you guys.